I am putting in a 2021 GMC 3.0 Turbo Deer Duramax Diesel Tiger Auto Nerf Bars. So that's the end product on that side. I'm just starting the process on this side. All right, so first you gotta remove the little inserts that are underneath. You get under there. So here's the little inserts where your screws are gonna go. You have to take out the first, skip the second, go to the third. Then you're gonna have to get the fourth, skip the fifth, and then go to the sixth. These things are kind of a little pain to get out. So I found out that the best method that I've been using is you kind of get a little leverage with screwdriver. So you can get a little pop in there with that. Open it up a little bit. And then once I have enough room to fit pliers underneath and get a little pinch and then it seems to come out. So I'm gonna finish up this one and I'm gonna finish up the next one. All right, next thing you're gonna need, half inch socket. I got a 13 millimeter uh, deep socket, kind of helps get in there. Um, for actually putting in the mounting brackets, you're gonna need your um, 30 millimeter hex bolts. Uh, once that's all put up, then you will use your 25 millimeter hex bolts for the Nerf bar attachment. All right, also uh, it's good to have a level so that way you make sure these are lined up straight. All right, you're gonna come underneath. Now's when you start attaching everything. So. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to do it without this in my hand. It's hard to video. All right, so I got the two bolts in right there. Right here, this one's a little bit harder to see. Um, <clears throat> I know it says to wait to tighten everything, but I usually, Found that it's a little bit easier to do it all right now, but before you tighten it, you want to make sure that we're level up and down. So just need to adjust it a little bit. Once it's all level, then I'm gonna cinch it down with my uh, my socket here. All right, now it's time to put the Nerf bar on. Make sure uh, that the padding that's closer to the bottom is uh, is towards the rear. Uh, it's labeled when you first get out of the box. It says passenger and it says driver's side. So I um, already put the uh, passenger side on. Now it's just putting on the driver's okay, side. Okay, now it's resting on there. And then I just got to start bolting in right underneath here where it's all lined up. And uh, we'll see how that looks. Right now, I'm just hand tightening everything, putting it in. And then once all the bolts are in, then I will slowly start putting uh, the socket on it and uh, cranking them down. So three more to go at this point. All right. Finally got the last bit on, all the bolts cinched down. Yeah, pretty happy with it. Wasn't sure how it was gonna like the look of it, but overall, honestly, I'm pretty, pretty impressed. I think it looks a lot better on, in person actually on it than in the, the photos. So for the price, you can't beat it. And I think it, uh, Definitely adds a nice little look, makes it a little easier to get into the vehicle. So anyways, if you're on the fence, get it. It's uh, it's not super difficult to put in. Took a, about a 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, it wasn't that hard. Just kind of getting into tight spots. So that's it.